no matter what, I feel in great. Hello friends, welcome back to Godlywood Studio. Welcome back to Light of Knowledge. As you know, we were talking about different powers that we possess. And these are the inner resources which actually help us move forward in our life. And at times when we forget that we have these powers, when we forget that we are so powerful, then we run into a lot of problems. So come today, let us discuss about a very important power that is the power to listen. It is said, if you have a lot of knowledge, you speak. And if you have a lot of wisdom, then you listen. So listening is the hallmark of the wise person. And come let us discuss what are the other important factors which is included in the power of listening along with Rupa Benji. Benji, welcome to the show. Thank you. So today we talk about the power to listen. We have discussed about many powers which are clearly evident. Uh, how does the power of listening? Usually we doesn't feel that listening is a power. So how does it become a power in the first place. Ninety percent of people would like to speak what they have inside, mm -hmm. and almost every individual tries to talk to other person, whether it is problem or something that they know as an information, mm -hmm. and that information or message they don't want to keep with them longer time. They want mm -hmm. to pass it. So this is the common. Uh, kind of tendency that we whatever we come to know immediately we pass to somebody and uh, that's why we need more listeners and there are so many informations which may be useful or may not be useful but whatever information I have I want to just pass it on to others so in this I have to see whether what I am passing the other person is hearing me or listening Everybody hears, if it is a mass group, one person is giving lecture, all the people who are in that gathering, everybody hears. But how many people listen, this makes the difference of understanding, because hearing is, yes, I am just observing, I, some sound is going inside and half understood, while hearing, my focus my attention may be wandering here and there. But the difference between hearing and listening, where when I listen to you means I am there. I am totally with that information which I am receiving from another person. So when I am listening, all my senses are towards one focusing direction. Vijay, here I have a doubt regarding this listening. That is, we all have something going on in our mind all the time. Uh, it is uh, usually called as the self-talk, the internal talk which is going on. So, suppose when I am listening to you, does it mean that I have to keep my mind silent without any thoughts though, so that only your words fall into my ear? Now, what is the mechanism of listening? See, when I am listening to somebody with attention, mm. this is supported with another quality attention. Mm -hmm. Attention in the sense, I don't have tension of any other thoughts other mm. than hear mm. what the message I am listening. So, during the time, my mind automatically quietens. When my interest has flown towards one direction, mm. that doesn't go anywhere. So, I am very much keen about what you are telling. Then I am trying to absorb and trying to keep in my mind and therefore, I am listening with care. So, at that time, mind need not stop by force. Mind need not be stopped by giving any suggestion, mm. but it has to be just diverted towards one direction. It can also happen that I want to listen to you, but at the same time, when you are talking, my mind is, as you said, uh, going somewhere. Uh, but really, I want to listen also. So, what can I do? How can I listen? Because always I have a lot of thoughts in my mind. You said uh, when uh, you are listening to somebody, it naturally quietens. But in my case, it doesn't happen. So, how can I develop this uh, power? Maybe listening? while listening, you have many questions in your mind. No, it is just simply thoughts. My mind is wandering here and there. Mm -hmm. My mind is going there, uh, which may be irrelevant also, but I am not able to uh, control it. Okay. So, at that time, you talk to your mind. What is that you want? Where do you want to go? 
if at all it wants to go to any tea shop have a cup of tea there though physically you cannot go but allow your mind to go there for few seconds when you say okay you go the mind will fast come back to you immediately mm -hmm. if at all irrelevant thoughts are coming then you talk to your mind there is no purpose in having all these thoughts now there is one information important message i am receiving this is more useful for my life and this has to be kept in my mind so lovingly when you are trying to make your mind concerned mm -hmm. or understanding then your mind listen to you your mind listen to your command mm. then you can listen to somebody so actually it takes a lot of practice to listen properly no you have to talk to your mind many people i don't know whether they know or not how to talk to our mind and listen to our mind can you just tell me that technique so that uh, our viewers can take benefit of it talking to other person talking to someone else uh, that is very easy but talking to your own mind and listen to your mind that mm -hmm. is more important for example when i am attending one lecture my mind is wandering that's mm. what i complained right mm. as rightly you said my mind will go here and there and at that time relevant in irrelevant thoughts or mm. may not be important that kind of uh, work will be remembered mm. it is actually a good mind gives a suggestion there if at all i am trying to focus towards one direction at that time any other pending work or any other irrelevant work is been remembered that means my subconscious mind is reminding me look you have this work you have to do that doesn't know what is important what is not important whatever the pending file it will be just coming and giving the message in other words we say mind is also a kind of messenger so when but i don't i don't want this irrelevant messages i just want to listen to something yes whenever the irrelevant message or relevant message is coming to you knocking your door giving an alarm you give the response unless and until you don't give response it won't quieten it won't become silent like a child asking something question you don't want to answer that child will not become quiet because it wants the uh, right answer mm -hmm. what is it so similarly mind is asking or giving information look today you are supposed to go to your friend's house look there is one post which has to be written and posted today two things now that is not very important tomorrow also you could have done and you will do tomorrow but right now what is the response you must give to the mind thank you i understand tomorrow i am going to post the post finish now there is no thought of that it again it will come you are supposed to go to your friend's house yes i have already given an other time so no problem so this communication immediately mind thoughts becomes calm and many people think it is a disturbance it is not actually disturbance it is a clarification that mind wants to understand so before you become a good listener you will have to work on your mind yes. in order to quieten it in order to but benji again that is one of the major uh, concern of human race we can say that this uncontrollable thoughts which is coming in the mind and before we become a good listener you say that we have to control it so uh, what is the easiest way to do that because all of us want a very the most comfortable and easy way to get the solution the word control itself is more difficult you cannot control your mind at any time mm -hmm. then then what can we do it is only to divert from one direction to another direction you cannot stop the vehicle mm -hmm. but you can only minimize the speed and if we understand in this way mm. the thoughts what are the quality of thoughts it's generated in our mind it is happening constantly and if you ask anybody how many thoughts you have thought from morning to afternoon they can't count what type of thoughts did you think few things we will be remembering other thoughts and all simply evaporating now 
a good meditator will understand the value of his thought and he will have a special attention on his quality of thoughts and also he will know how the fastest speed whether to create more thoughts or less thoughts or to go fast or slow this is the speed of your thoughts so when you are sitting in meditation you are able to observe your thought levels whether it is unwanted wanted or it is going in a very fast speed mm. or it is very slow all these things you can observe in the screen of your mind okay benji so you said uh, the mind cannot be stopped only the pace can be slowed down so in raj yoga what techniques do you offer uh, so that we can slow it down a bit and be a good listener first of all you know whenever you want to uh, why we create more fast thoughts a uh, little bit let us understand about that whenever we have negative thoughts our speed will be fast like i get angry i get jealous i hate somebody or i have doubt about somebody so this kind of thoughts are one after the one after the other it will continuously generate when i think of some positive values virtues positive feelings then you see even if you force your mind it will not think faster like if i want to think about peace simply one or two thoughts will generate i have to think and think but negative thoughts before you thinking whether i should or not it will just flow off because the pressure will be more and positive thoughts always goes very rhythmic slow and in a very peaceful manner and that's why when a person is loveful when a person is very happy no words because no thoughts even thoughts are there very few when a person scolds he don't know what he is speaking when a person wants to compliment somebody there are very selective words because selective thoughts so same thing in meditation when we take up one thought one virtue one value we think about that one after the other thought and feel it and this becomes a very regular practice then man becomes more and more peaceful naturally even positive naturally but even at the time of negative situations where he has to face mm -hmm. just imagine a group of 20 to 30 people in a mob they are coming to attack you and they have drunken and they are not in pious mood a person who is a good meditator having the practice from long time looking at that mob who are fully filled with negative emotions or negative feelings even negative words they are using but this person if he has got positive energy he remains first thing unshakable second thing he will not utter a single word opposite of them whatever they are telling he will just listen 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 without reacting what happens in this situation after few minutes all that negative temperament they have thrown out they will become silent and then question in their mind so much we are throwing the negative thoughts and negative words but what is happening not even one word of reaction though they may not express but they think and then they also try to listen now what is that this person wants to tell mm -hmm. still a yogi will not talk he will still ready to listen meji but uh, we have as you said in your example when we have someone pouring rubbish after rubbish on our ears so is it advisable to stand there and listen to the whole thing so that this garbage goes into our mind and create some problem later if they have come to your doorstep what you will do you want to run away from your home you can at least shut my door and sit <laughs> inside peacefully why not that is one way you are running away only but what is the point i'm i don't know why should i listen to garbage when i understand that it is garbage it is uh, not of any use to me 
so standing there still or uh, isn't it a better option to just move away from that place so that i get saved myself yeah you can save yourself temporarily but a person who wants to tell everything to you whether it is garbage or uh, even something is there it is their level of understanding but when i shut my door and sit inside he'll find someone else so that i get saved at least <laughs> he is focusing only on to you let us say mm -hmm. like that maybe he is angry with you misunderstood mm -hmm. so he wants to tell everything to you only mm -hmm. and you are running away he wants to tell everything to me but i don't want to listen yeah what happens in that sequence mm -hmm. he will be behind you only he will be searching in another occasion yesterday he escaped let mm -hmm. me come today but when these people who pour rubbish just want just want someone as a receiver so when he understand that i am not ready to receive most probably he will find someone else won't that happen no what happens they will be waiting for a chance mm -hmm. instead of that though it is right that you don't want to listen to the garbage but for their concern at least mm -hmm. listen one or two minutes and then try to move away you mean to say that even when i move away sometimes i may be saved but i am missing a chance to transform the other person you cannot transform immediately them at least you are not going to become victim again and again once you stand still while mm -hmm. listening it is not happening anything to you it is not going to give you pain or it you are not going to receive those words for your sake mm -hmm. for that only listening with detachment is very important when i am listening i am seeing the drama how they are playing mm. their negative mm. role if in that attitude you are listening nothing mm -hmm. is going to harm me what the best thing happens is at least their pressure of negativity has come down and mm. next day when i meet them they will be ready to listen to then is the chance to me to give a positive side of uh whatever the way we want to give them for their transformation or any misunderstanding is mm -hmm. there you mm -hmm. can clarify they will be ready to listen at least few words mm. uh, maybe i think benji what you say is more applicable inside our close family circle with our friends or relative whom we cannot just shut the door on their face and no, uh, sit inside no even in the society also you see but again coming into the society mm -hmm. there are a lot of people there are a lot of news that you listen to uh, when i listen to it for one minute and then i understand that this is not of value to me then why should i stand there and listen don't stand there but if it is the matter to you only when it is coming to you mm -hmm. and you are the person focused there then need not run away by just keeping maybe, ourselves maybe maybe you are hinting at some direct quarrels which yes. you have with somebody even if you don't have quarrel sometimes by mistake by misunderstanding mm -hmm. you will be put in that position let us say you have uh, taken a rented house mm -hmm. and uh, that land was sold by somebody mm -hmm. to your owner mm -hmm. and owner has given you the rent nor you know the people who have sold how they have taken that with what dealings you are not aware mm. it is only the owner and the party who has sold it is their business but if they have any quarrel of that land mm. maybe those group can come to you and start troubling you mm -hmm. at that time you are absolutely innocent person and you are nowhere concerned definitely but misunderstanding so what they think if you as a rented person if i create problem to you you will tell the owner mm -hmm. so that owner will give a solution or something so then a mob will come and start uh, blaming you or telling or, or vacate the place whatever the way they want to trouble so at that time what you will do you want to shut the door and go uh, i can tell the owner that this is not my problem you come and <laughs> do your business with that them. is next step but here mm -hmm. mob is in front of you no mm -hmm. for them how do you deal mm -hmm. they are already drunk and they are in full temper and uh, they are in violent mood at mm -hmm. that time what you will do they start they have started already scolding you mm -hmm. maybe i'll have to call the police anyway benji uh, because uh, you here try to say that Uh, when we listen in patience we actually transform the other person also we transform their mind so that they also learn the patience from me so talking about patience and uh, listening in order to listen uh, we need to have a lot of uh, inner qualities also 
it is not that easy such an easy uh, task to listen taking this situation again mm -hmm. you are put in such a place where you don't know what is the reason why these people have become so violent but they have at a stretch they have come mm -hmm. to your doorstep and they have started scolding mm -hmm. and demanding something mm -hmm. now that is actually uh, you you may feel panic one one reaction you may feel panic so second thing is uh, because you are deeply hurt mm. uh, by no cause why they are coming and troubling me like that you can violently behave with them mm -hmm. and third thing you can be a good listener to them without mm -hmm. getting affected which will be the best one you can select so if you want to select the last one you need internally lot of strength stability and uh, kind of spiritual power mm. so benji as usual we are driving uh, to that point of spirituality again so how does this connection with god how does raj yoga uh, helps us imbibe these powers see whether we are all aware or not aware we are the right cause or not but sometimes like this in situation we all come across where we have to face some sudden situations mm -hmm. if a person has got connection with god from long time maintaining that relationship from long time a person if he knows how to talk to god how to listen to god how to draw power from him then in such situation he can take his mind beyond the effect of this physical plane even within few seconds mm -hmm. and therefore remaining in that state of getting uninfluenced let all this turmoil calm down then his awareness uh, with god whatever he is experiencing mm -hmm. he will be enjoying that state of level and after this quietens then he comes to the conscious of this body okay benji so regular practice of spirituality gives us that power so that we can uh, for the time being overlook all these negative happenings around us and uh, raise ourselves to a different plane so can we have a practical experience of that meditation right now let us have one beautiful thought i remain stable in all situation sit in a comfortable position quickly take your mind from all other engagements and focus here to just be with yourself visualize a beautiful tiny point of light in the center of your forehead the master of this body i remain peaceful and train all my sense organs to be peaceful people around me sometimes they are aggressive violent disturbing of different taste when i see each and every individual's role i enjoy everybody's act when i see somebody's negative role I remain uninfluenced and start giving simply the positive vibrations and the souls looking at me start thinking what they have done is wrong and now they are ready to receive positive side i remain stable and allow others to remain stable in all situations hence i don't lose my peace of mind this gives me immense power within myself Om Shanti
Benji, thanks a lot for uh, that meditation, which actually will make us emerge those powers inside, especially the power to listen, as you said. It is very important in different situations that we listen more than we talk. Continuous practice of meditation. Definitely meditation is also a kind of listening to God, as you have already said in one of the episodes. So uh, let this practice make us good listeners. Thank you very much. Thank you. So dear friends, that was all for today. We were talking about the power to listen. And this is a very important power. When we have this power, definitely we can find a solution for many problematic situations which we are in. Because actually we cannot run away from a situation. We cannot uh, escape from a situation. We will have to face it. And when we face the situation, the power to listen will come to our aid more than perhaps any other power that we possess. So keep along with us in this journey. We will discover more gems of wisdom in the coming episodes. Stay tuned to PMTV and stay tuned to your favorite program, Light of Knowledge. Thank you very much.